nigga, what? Alright guys, before the video starts, let's talk for a second. I need your help. The next few videos I'm gonna be releasing are from a while back. This was way back when, before I knew how to use lighting properly, but I have a lot of old videos that are stocked up. And I think they're pretty good, so I don't wanna get rid of them. So I'm gonna give them to you guys, but just be prepared, because in these videos, it may have looked like I fucking dipped my head in a deep fryer. That's how oily I was. I was overexposed, I looked like an idiot. But what I need from you guys is to smash the thumbs up button right now. If we can get at least 8,000 thumbs up on the next few videos I release, the old videos that I'm trying to get for you guys then trust me there's gonna be some banger videos coming soon but i need you guys to get those thumbs up because if you don't get those thumbs up then i'm gonna be sad and i'm not gonna be motivated to drop these banger videos hint hint somebody's taped to the ceiling hint hint pantyhose on our head but if you guys want to see those i mean smash the thumbs up for your boy other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day here it is enjoy hey yo what's good it's your boy wolfie and today i want to talk about the different types of people that exaggerate because i've noticed a lot of people exaggerate about different things every single day so yeah here's the different types types of exaggerators that you may know. Number one, the hype man. This is the person that hypes up every story to the maximum. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's kind of blessed when you're with them and they're saying shit that never happened, happened to make you look good. Cause then you're just chilling there in the background, not in your head like a fucking boss. And you don't even have to do any of the talking because yo, they got you covered. Say for example, you hit the club with your boy the night before and you know damn well that you didn't even dance with one girl that night. But somehow this nigga turns that story into this. Yo, last night me and Charlie were at the club, bro. Oh, I swear, bro. This guy was dancing on like five girls, bro. Five girls all night. Six girls in the cab on the way home, bro. He brought home like 17 different girls, bro. I swear to God, right, Charlie? Bro, this guy was pimping. I was pimping too, dog. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nice. But then strolls in the downer. This is the person that exaggerates all of the bad things that happened when you know they didn't happen. They add all these different things to the story and you're just sitting there like, nigga, I was with you. Are you a different person? Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? That wasn't me. The downer just exaggerates all the bad that happens. Say last night you went out to the movies and you were unlucky and you spilled your popcorn. But that's all you did. You spilled your popcorn. Like nothing else happened. The downer is just spreading lies like this. We were at the movies last night. Yo, Charlie spilt his popcorn and then bro, when he fell on the ground after he spilled his popcorn, this guy spilt his drink all over his face. Yo, it was so embarrassing. And after that, some girl just came up to him and rejected him. Bro, he didn't even approach the girl and she still rejected him. How shitty is that? And you're just there like, nigga, what Charlie are you fucking talking? Bro, that shit didn't happen. This nigga crazy. The downer exaggerator sucks. Then you have the first impression exaggerator. You know when you meet a new person and they just feed you bullshit that you know isn't true? The best example I can give for this type is when people go to university and try and act like someone they're not. Like this person will tell you all the stories that they did in high school. Yo, I ran my high school. Yo, I had so many girls in high school, it was stupid. Like I literally had to hit them off with a hockey stick every day. Grades? Bro, 100 was low for me, man. I was like in the 150 family. Dog. Nigga, shut up! Like you're wearing fat farm shoes, bro. Don't tell me you were beating off girls with a hockey stick in fat farm shoes, bro. What are those? You're drinking six days a week, bro. Don't tell me you are getting 150% drinking six days a week. I hate those people. And then you have the mom exaggerator. I don't know if this relates to you guys, but I need to throw this in because my mom does this all the time and it pisses me off. For one, my mom will tell me to go to the grocery store and she'll give me a list of things. The list is clearly more than $200, okay? And she'll give me her debit card. And this is what she says. She's like, yeah, Charlie, buy this list of stuff and I hope it has the money on the card. Then she just shrugs her shoulders like this. Yeah, Charlie, I hope it has money on the card. If there's a biggest fear in the world that I have above heights, it's getting your debit card rejected at the store with a full line of people behind you. That shit, I don't do that shit. I'm not down for that shit. My mom knows damn well how much money she has in her bank account. So don't fucking send me to the store to gamble at the register, okay? My mom exaggerates every time. She knows she has money in the bank account, but she'll say, I don't know why she does that. Like, mom, you know you have money in the bank account. Why are you telling me? Eh? We'll see if it works. Yeah, go buy a new computer and we'll see if you get denied in front of everyone. Like it either works or it doesn't. Tell me or I'm not going to the store, fam. Why are you making this such a hassle for the boy? I'm cheese. And then there's the second thing she does. Now I'm not even lying when I say this. My car had an oil spill. And by oil spill, I mean literally like a couple drops of oil. And it could have even been water was dripping out of the bottom of the car. A couple drops maximum, okay? This is my mom. She gives me the car for the day and she says, yeah, 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 um, have a good time. Just drive, drive safe to school, but um, by the way, there's been an extreme oil leakage in the bottom of the car. So if you're driving the car on the highway and the steering wheel just suddenly gives out, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Nigga, what? If the steering wheel gives out in the middle of the highway, you don't know what to tell me. Okay, 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 mom. Nigga, there was one drop of oil. Now you're telling me that I'm gonna get murked while I'm driving in the middle of the highway? Damn, mom. 
Why do you need to exaggerate like that? It's either the car is gonna break down or it's not, fam. Like, let me know before I just casually drive on the highway and willingly murk myself from an 18-wheeler. Yeah, please thank you. Then you just have the people that exaggerate about life all the time. You know, those friends that take everything to the extreme. When they feel good, they feel really good. And when they feel bad, they feel really bad. Like, the ones that do this. Yo, honestly, yo, bro, this is the fucking best day of my life. Like, you know the day before and the day before? Bro, don't even fucking compare. Like, this is better than when I was born. This is better than all of my birthdays. Better than when I got my first kiss. This is such a good day. For the ones that do this. Yo, that movie was so fucking... That is the best movie of all time. You know the movie we saw last week? Bro, it didn't even compare. Forget what I said about that movie. This movie is the best. But, but Charlie, you said that about the movie last week. And you said that about the movie before. And you said that about the three movies before that. And the 926 movies before that. Nah, fam. This one takes the cake, dog. Best movie in the universe, bro. Fuck the universe, bro. Best movie in the galaxy, dog. Or when people exaggerate the hell out of feeling shitty, they sneeze once and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Yo, 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 honestly, bro, you know how people feel when their favorite pet just died and they stub their toe on a fucking chair in the same day, bro? Take that, bro, multiply that by a bajillion, and it still won't even come close to 1% of what I'm fucking feeling right now. I'm sick as fuck. Yo, death is honestly jealous of how good I feel compared to itself. Nigga, you just sneezed. Relax. And then you have the most common one, the person that exaggerates about drinking. You know, the honestly, after last night, I'm never drinking again. I swear to God, I'll never never even look at alcohol again. If alcohol itself pays me a lifetime amount of money, I still won't even drink. A few moments later. <laughs> yo, yo, turn up! Cha, 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 cha. What? And lastly, the one that falls in love every single week. Yo, yo, Charlie, yo. You know that girl from last week? Bro, that girl doesn't even compare. Honestly, bro, I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this girl. You've been saying that the past like seven weeks, man. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? You don't trust your boy, bro? I'm actually in love with this girl. You're not gonna support me, bro? What are you saying, bro? You know that girl last week, bro? That was nothing, bro. Last week, that girl, bro, nothing, bro. Girl here right like this, bro? This girl here week this world, bro? This girl is it, bro. I'm in love with this girl. I love this one. But yeah, those are the types of exaggerators. Thumbs up this video if you guys can relate to any of those people. And comment down below which of those types of exaggerators you know personally. Is it the love type, the mom, the downer, the hype man? Which one? Comment that down below. And yeah, that's it for this week. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. And as always, Lego. Up until last year, we lived within a 10 minute drive away from each other. Now, you know, DJ, this guy. Get the fuck out of here, DJ. This guy had to leave to Toronto. Now he lives like five hours away, but the rest of us, we